He is the great conservative hope, the hardliner Ibrahim Raisi. Tens of thousands of people gather in the mosque in Tehran to hear him speak. It's the home stretch of the presidential campaign, and as he takes to the stage, the crowd goes wild. Raisi is the only candidate who could spell trouble for President Hassan Rouhani. He's on the offensive, attacking the record of Rouhani, especially on the economy. He's tried to bring in a key from outside to unlock the sanctions and solve the economic problems of the country. But the key for all problems is in the hand of the Iranian people. Raisi is the candidate of the ultra-conservatives in Iran. He has the backing of the powerful security forces and of many religious voters. He's honest, he's pure, and he knows how things are done. He's better than all the others. Mr. Raisi is more local and representative of the Iranian people. President Rouhani is too Western. We cannot, it's not possible. That is all he ever says. But he doesn't know how we feel. I want a president who says, it is possible, we can do it. Away from the rally on the streets of Tehran, the mood is not so clear-cut. According to the latest polls, Ibrahim Raisi and President Rouhani are both neck-to-neck, -neck, neither of them polling above the decisive 50 percent mark. Many people are still undecided over which candidate to choose and whether to even vote at all. That despite the election being so crucial in deciding the future of Iran. The reformists in particular are doing all they can to get their supporters to the polls. Low voter turnout could be especially perilous for President Rouhani, according to political analysts. Usually incumbent presidents are elected for a second term in Iran. But if Rouhani's voters just assume that this will happen again and do not go to vote, then the other side will win. One thing is certain. Raisi supporters will go to the polls. They're determined to see their rallying cry come true. At the weekend they chant, Rouhani will be gone.